Act. We just had an auction of, uh, of four-year bills as well. The bid to cover ratio, it looks like, up. 2.75 versus 3.38 at the previous auction. So a little bit uh, less there. We have the perfect guest to talk about this. The real auction that we're waiting on, though, is at one o'clock. That is the five-year auction, and that will be much more interesting and telling. This, of course, before the FOMC minutes as well at 2 p.m. So let's bring in our guest. Ira Jersey is with us. He, he of Bloomberg Intelligence and Bloomberg Economics and, of course, rates specialist. So we've seen a lot of repricing this week. It's like the fallout from the equity tumble is happening now. What do you read into it, Ira? Sure. So, so I think I think there's a couple of things. So, the four-week auction today, you know, you, you saw that somewhat lower demand. There was certainly uh, uh, there was certainly more bonds or bills being auctioned. So, it's not a big surprise that you know, kind of demand stayed the same, but you have more supply. So, you're going to get lower bid to covers. Um, I, I think what's going on now is we are repricing for the fact that we have more supply, and in particular, supply in the front end. So, the Treasury Department's going to be issuing six billion dollars more of two-year notes and three-year notes, and only one billion dollar more of everything else. So it, it makes sense that you wind up with what's going on today where you have two-year notes a little bit higher in yield and you have the rest of the curve kind of flat. So this is exactly what the Fed was hoping would play out, no? Well, I, I think the, the Fed was hoping that you'd get somewhat higher yields, but maybe a somewhat steeper yield curve, which um, from twos, tens, you've gotten that this year, but other curves you haven't, right? So you look at fives, thirties, and some other yield curves, and they haven't necessarily uh, steepened as much as, as twos, tens. But to some extent, it's a chicken and egg situation, right? Because they may, the curve may steepen as soon as those maturities are sort of in the spotlight. They haven't been in the spotlight yet. Well, I, I'm not so sure about that, because primarily because, the again, the amount of supply in the front end is going to be um, much higher. So it's possible, yes, that the whole curve might sell off a little bit, but ultimately I think it's a curve flattener. And, and one of the things that, that I'm going to be looking for in the minutes today and the fact that they come out is, you know, how much does um, the, has the Fed's um, thought process changed? Because remember, their meeting was kind of in the middle of this market meltdown and, you know, they, they obviously stood pat, which was expected. Now we're expecting them to hike again in March. We're expecting them to hike again two more times this year. But the market's only pricing for one 2019 hike. If if that changes and it seems like the Fed's going to continually be a little bit more hawkish, then you wind up with even a much flatter curve. So yields might rise a little bit, but ultimately I think it's that the curve shape that will, uh, will really matter a lot more.